Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. I am Mustard's Human Employee, back once again with another interview. This week we're being joined by... You're being joined by Della, and thank you so much for having me. Of course, thanks for being here. Thanks for supporting Music Self. This is actually your second interview with us now. Uh, when, did, when, was, when did the first interview take place again? Uh, that was around the time of my first single back in uh, April when you just started the blog, I think. It was in its early yeah. days. Yeah, yeah definitely. I think early 2021, if I remember correctly. Uh, no, I think like tw uh, 2022. 2022. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we're kind of in the yeah. thick of it then, but still early on. That's when I started, we mustered and I started using it more. Um, yeah. So how, how have you been? Yeah, I've been good. Um, yeah, the new single is out uh, as when this goes out. So really looking forward to see what that's all like. Um, in, in real time, however, I have just uh, finished it um, about a week or so ago. That's all ready to go, ready to go for distribution and be uploaded um so i'm just kind of prepping for that uh, release really i'm making all the content for it um i'm you know recording other bits and pieces here and there mm -hmm. um i've got a little live set um this friday on a uh it's kind of a podcast but it's also like a chat show type thing um oh, cool. locally so i'm looking forward to that and uh yeah we're, we're back up doing the um the listening party streams as well mm -hmm. um which is something I used to do over on TikTok um, each Friday where we'd pick an artist um, that has like an EP or we do like two EPs where I do two different artists mm -hmm. um, or just like a full album. Cause you know, it's always really cool when kind of like unsigned acts and stuff do like full bodies of work because um, while it, it's, it's common, but it's not as common as, you know, releasing a song on SoundCloud or a YouTube video or whatever. Yeah. So it, it's always good to celebrate that. So, that's something I used to do and I've just brought that back. So yeah, it's just kind of, um, you know, getting that, that new year motivation, really just trying to <laughs> cling on to that as best as I can. Yeah. So let's start off with, cause you, you covered a lot of stuff there. So let's start off <laughs> with a new single, new single that's called, uh, you took my song. Um, yes. and you, you know, you gave me a chance to listen to it a little bit earlier. What was the inspiration behind that? Um, so it's quite funny actually. So I was, uh, yeah, there's a bit of a backstory. I was walking through town once. I just moved uh, to Cardiff when I was um, mm -hmm. studying at the Royal Welsh and I was walking around. I just, yeah, I just moved there. I was just taking a, a walk around, just doing a bit of exploring. And I walked past this bar and they were, they had speakers outside in like the beer garden mm -hmm. and they were playing this song. And I thought, oh, that's quite a good song. I think it was like a Carol King song that I hadn't heard. Uh -huh. And um, so I, I went home and I Googled the lyrics. And nothing came up in any of the search results. <laughs> and I, I typed like, I typed like every variation that I could find of, <laughs> of those lyrics and nothing came up. So I was like, oh, maybe I've just like misheard that. Maybe, maybe I'll have that. And that was in one of my songs for like three years until I heard it on the radio oh. <laughs> in, in the car. <laughs> and, yeah. and my heart just sunk because it happens all the time when you write a song and it's like, oh, it's that song. So. I just copied this song. I'm not going to release that because that's just a copy. But yeah. I didn't even know that it, this was a song that existed, and I just heard it on the radio. Oh, Imagine okay. if I'd like, you know, finished that song and put it out, <laughs> and I just didn't know for yeah. ages. Um, and it was this weird feeling, like my heart just sunk. I don't. It's like you're, oh. you've been told like this devastating news. Um, mm -hmm. So I wrote. I just went home and, um, you know, I tried to write as much as I can. And at that point, I was like writing a song every day. So just the song mm -hmm. I happened to write that day was, uh, you took my song, um, you <laughs> took my song from me. And mm -hmm. while it's kind of one of those things where it's like on the surface, um, you know, the text of it is that, um, and it's about like, you know, just not being able to come up with a song and mm -hmm. kind of this, you know, abstract form is kind of taking all your ideas, but then underneath that, it's really kind of. I guess just a lot about like frustration and uh you know external blame for kind of your own problems i suppose mm -hmm. yeah that's kind of where the chorus comes in i would say or the hook like you took uh if i'm remembering the lyrics correctly like you took my mm. key you took my melody that's that's where like the blame yeah. and everything and yeah and the frustration's coming in mm. yeah 
No, that, 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 that's funny. Yeah, it is like one of those moments when your heart sinks, when you realize like, oh, like I didn't mean to intentionally do that. <laughs> Um, yeah. Like you said you Googled it and everything and you didn't find, yeah. didn't find anything. Yeah. I have any no idea. So <laughs> yeah, no, no, that, no, that, that's, that's a, that's a cool concept behind it and a cool story behind it. And then how was the yeah. distribution and the content going? Cause I know, um, especially you, you, you've got a good handle yeah. on TikTok. How does it feel? Um, is yeah. it like, is it stressful coming up with content or does it just kind of come naturally to you now? No. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of lucky. I, I, I like to think I kind of come up with ideas, um, you know, quite fairly, like prolifically, I come up with a lot of ideas um, mm -hmm. for a lot of songs. I, you know, I like to help other people out with, you know, their ideas and stuff. It's really fun to like bounce mm -hmm. off kind of strategy. Like I know a lot of musicians aren't particularly keen mm -hmm. on social media and such, but for me, I really enjoy yeah. that <laughs> side of things. I really enjoy promoting it because it's, it's another avenue for creativity. It's not just music, you know, it's like this kind of, mm -hmm. you know, film sketchy visual kind of world. Mm -hmm. Um, but for me, it also symbolizes that something is, is done <laughs> and something is finished. That's you know, true. I finished That's my true. song. So now I can just kind of mm -hmm. have a bit of fun with it. So, um, uh, just to go on a kind of a bit of a tangent about that side of things. It was, um, April, 2021, it was like Easter break from, um, doing my master's degree where mm -hmm. I was just like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna, um, like post like three TikToks a day for a week. And that was like when I mm -hmm. first kind of properly started posting. And I think it's kind of not really stopped from then. I've just always been like, you know, coming up with ideas and posting. And, uh, mm -hmm. when it came to my previous two singles, it was, uh, fairly easy to come up with ideas. Um, for those and uh, really fun as well. It was, you know, the whole, you know, just posting every day with the, the sound, um, mm -hmm. and, you know, trying to like find these little like angles and narratives with it. Um, and again, yeah, just like a lot of fun, but with this one, it's interesting because I'm kind of doing the opposite where instead of like posting a bunch about the song until it comes out, I'm kind of posting uh, a little bit after the song comes out uh, uh, okay okay th those th those fewer posts will be like higher quality oh, and okay. it's it, you know it, it's potentially a risky strategy but it's like i'm taking like bigger swings um mm -hmm. fewer times as opposed to just like posting every day just like throwing everything out there yes and uh, yeah yeah, I was yeah we'll, say, we'll see what happens like, yeah so you're kind of like leaving breadcrumbs, but like the bigger pieces of breadcrumbs of like, you know, better texture, better flavor, that type of deal, rather than, you know, the, Absolutely. You know, the three, three day type of deal. No, this that's is the, the, this is the gourmet. Yeah. The gourmet, the, the, the ratatouille, the going to pair. Yeah. So no, that, that, no, that's good. Cause you know, cause we, we you know, mustard and I, we, we, we met you on TikTok. We, we you know, we've, seen your schedule you've had a lot of things take off too with like your duets and your challenges mm -hmm. and stuff those are you know those are really fun but no i'm hoping that the you know this risk pays off because that may even be probably yeah. a little less stressful on you too well, i would think yeah like and i mean i was i was thinking about this because i've been thinking about how like my my first two songs um they've but they've both done like fairly well fairly solidly for you know <laughs> little old you know Joe blogs with, you know, however many <laughs> followers. Um, but this, t but posting all those times and getting that many streams on the song, I'm kind of wondering how much, like, does that actually equate? How much does that actually <laughs> translate? Because sure. Like you might post a lot about the song and then one or two of those posts, maybe they do particularly well. And you have like a handful <laughs> of people and then they put that song on like playlists or they stream it a lot or whatever. Yeah. Um, but I'm just kind of wondering how many of that, because is it like, is it just like the first like 500 first like thousand streams or so? Um, yeah, I don't know. and if so, like, where are the others coming from? Are they just kind of from like Spotify, like streaming algorithm mm -hmm. and such? So I think because I've got those first two songs under my belt and I've like, okay, I've done all the posting every day and you know, they've done fairly well. What if I just kind of post it? What if the song just kind of comes out? What happens then? And, you know, maybe there's like a bunch of musicians, marketing gurus or whatever, screaming at me, like, no, this is not what you're meant to do. 
which kind of makes yeah. me want to do it more. Um, uh, yeah. So it, it's, it's it's a bit more of an experiment, and I'm feeling a bit more free to do this one because I've got those two songs kind of under my belt. Now it's now it's like okay, that's happened because of this. Now what mm-hmm. happens if I do this thing? And I guess mm-hmm. because it's part of uh, like an EP cycle, I guess as mm-hmm. well, there is a bit of like kind of comfort in there that I know like it's okay if you know this song doesn't get as many streams or it doesn't like hit like immediately it doesn't you know do like a thousand in a week or yeah whatever it's, it's like it can it can do it can just do what it does and i think that's kind of my main approach to content this year like i posted every day mm-hmm. for 10 months last year uh since since like february 14th i think it was since my birthday mm-hmm. i was like okay i'm gonna just post every day mm-hmm. for six months and then i got past six months i was like okay let's try the year and it got to new year and I was like, actually, no, let's just kind of wipe the slate clean. And I want to do like high quality content only. And we're what 26 days into the year. I've posted once yeah. <laughs> on, on TikTok and it has done like pretty well. Um, so the kind of promotional campaign behind this song, I guess, is also a kind of microcosm of just my general approach, which is just like quality over quantity and just mm-hmm. putting faith that a post or a song will just do as well as it does. Mm-hmm. So that's a lot of information. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's a, I think that's a good mindset to have, especially with TikTok, where it's all it's. It feels like a lot of the time that it's more quantity over quality, um, and mm. the quality stuff gets you know mixed in, um, and it's hard to find with the algorithm with how the algorithm works and. You know, it's harder to find, but especially with your song too, and with sounds being so popular, you know, the chorus Mm. and just the song in general, I could see catching on with other artists um, and then making like fun sketches and stuff out of it too. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of potential, potential there. It's kind of Mm. finding, finding that, uh, that narrative, I guess, which again is, I'm hoping it just kind of reveals itself. It's like, okay, that's, that's the kind of route to go down with this song. No, that's good. And you said it's going to be a part of, uh, e, you know, an EP cycle. So I'm sure you have stuff mm-hmm. planned for that as well. And, you know, that's exciting. Um, can you share a little news about the EP? Like drop any hints of sure, what to expect yeah. or, or <laughs> I mean, not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's not really, I guess there's not really too much uh, to drop because I'm kind of releasing it in real time, like as I record it. Um, oh, okay. Because with back inside that's that's going to be the first track on the ep that came out back in september and when i finished that i uploaded i think i uploaded that like two weeks before it came out like to distribution and stuff Mm -hmm. and then i think i went back and changed it and then re-uploaded it like one week before or something (laughs) um which again just goes to show and it's done better than the song before that so it goes to show you don't need to like upload (laughs) like a month in advance again maybe it's just an exception whatever um yeah i'm doing well i uploaded this one three weeks in advance i'm i'm doing very good now oh nice, nice. um nice. <laughs> but again that's that's i've just i've kind of only just finished that as well um yeah. uh, as as we speak um and i haven't i haven't really recorded the other two songs i can um you know i guess i can share that one of the songs will be called london or let's go to london or filmmakers oh, okay. or something like that which is a okay, bit of a fan cool, favorite cool. it's a bit of a kind of you know like bob dylan-y mountain goat like kind of lo-fi oh, okay. folk tune and then um there's another song which i wrote a while ago called please let go which will be the closer and mm-hmm. hoping to get um mini man on on that one um Ooh. who's a who's a good friend um from the uh from the tiktok space so yeah there'll be a, a couple of uh, kind of more lo-fi acoustic tracks on there um nice. which i say oh hopefully that'll take that'll be easier to record but it probably you know <laughs> be just as tricky because you kind of spend longer on the on the fewer tracks there mm-hmm. but um yeah yeah so so there's two other songs and it will come out at some point hopefully you know late february at the very earliest okay. um but if not hope sometime in march perhaps that cool no that 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 sounds awesome that that that's out 
That sounds awesome. Well, I'm hoping that you're able. You said Mini or mi- Mimi? M- mini, yeah. Mini. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, hopefully you're able to get Mini um, on that track. But yeah, we're. I'm. You know, I'm looking forward to that. Looking forward to that. And let's go to London. Mm. Just sounds interesting. You know, it's inviting. You know, um, which I think is engaging. Um, maybe it will, it will help. You know, people inspired to go to London. Um, it's yeah. a place that mustard and I have always wanted to go. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, there's like mustards, like relatives are there, you know, the, the, the more like oh, really? bougie, the more bougie, um, yeah. mustards, the, the, the spicy browns, oh, the, bu- the, yeah. the, the Dijon's. Okay. But, whereabouts, whereabouts in London? Um, you know, that is a good question. That is a good <laughs> question. Um, but we just know that they're over there. Um, yeah, but there's I'm a lot of places that, in London. You know, <laughs> Yeah, I'm hoping that it all works out. And You Took My Song comes out. Oh, well, it is already going to be out in um, <laughs> when this goes up. So that, that, that that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think of what else. Well, I don't know if this is public, but you're doing the 36 song challenge, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've not, um, I've not like formally announced it, but I guess I can, I, I can say it here. Yeah, <laughs> so um, this is a psychological study from the 90s i haven't really read too much into it um mm-hmm. and yeah it's basically it's the 36 questions that lead to love and it's like 36 questions that you could like ask each other like on a date or something basically that kind oh, of like okay. that really like hel- helps you like get to know someone and like you know mm-hmm. fall in love quicker mm-hmm. whatever i don't know but um it is um it was uh, my very good friend uh sophia campo amor um, oh, yeah, yeah. another songwriter, uh, based in New York. Um, she came up with the idea to write a song every day from, I think it was January 10th. Um, every day until Valentine's day would be, would answer those 36 songs. Um, so oh, you awesome. know, shout out to her. She, she's writing those and posting them every day and mm-hmm. they're all like masterpieces. Um, she's an absolute virtuoso uh, when it comes to songwriting. Yeah. So, um, yeah, shout out her. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd, I'd do the same because I've been kind of like on the hunt for a little, uh, songwriting challenge. Um, mm-hmm. as I, as I said earlier, um, I kind of write every day if I can, when I can. Um, mm-hmm. and you know, there's like write every day in January or February album writing month, whatever it is. So yeah, I guess yeah, I was yeah. kind of on the hunt. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm doing that basically. And you know, that might be a little, that might be a little like band camp release or something. Oh, cool. Cool. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think band camp Friday is February 13th. I think that's when it's coming yeah. back. Yeah. Oh, cool. I think uh, 13th. I think so. I think it's the Ooh. 13th. I could be wrong. Yeah. I think well, it's it won't be done February, then though. Yeah. yeah. I think it's it, sometime in February. I'll, I'll have to double yeah. check, but I think it's yeah. sometime well, it'll be in done, February as well. Yeah, it, it was kind of uh, serendipitous in a way because the day it finishes, February 14th, which is Valentine's Day, mm-hmm. which is also my birthday, um, oh, it would be fun releasing. <laughs> thank you. In four days from now, apparently. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, so uploading it then on Bandcamp on that day would also mark a year since I released my little demos last year. Um, the, the prologue. Oh yeah. 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 What's that I did. Mm-hmm. So, um, that was another kind of enticing reason to it. I was like, Oh, wow, that's a, that's a bit of a coincidence. So it'd also be nice just to kind of put out a bunch of songs, um, for them, but who knows, I'm, I may or may not do it, but you'll, you'll have to see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, So one of the things that you do that you brought up earlier was that you do your TikTok listening parties um, where Mm -hmm. you try to get like unsigned artists to like submit their stuff to you. Right. And how does that all work? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Yeah. So every Friday or whenever I can, usually Friday evenings um, at around seven o'clock UK time. um, Yeah. I like to just sit on live and we just listen to an album or, maybe like two EPs by two, two different um, mm-hmm. artists. Cause um, you know, you can kind of uh, take a couple of the lists that way. 
<laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just it's just a fun little thing to do, really, just to kind of uh, you know tighten the community a bit. Um, I think uh, yeah, they're just, they're just a lot of fun to do, really. I, I really liked um, uh, I, I like watching um Anthony Fantano's uh, Twitch streams that he does every Friday. Um, just basically listening to all like the new music that comes out. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, he's been doing that for a few years now. And um, I mean, they're, they're quite late for me, so I don't always catch them, but sometimes I, I might see a bit of it. But um, yeah, it's, it's cool because you just hear his first reaction to all the songs really. And then um, he'll like listen to albums and stuff as well. I mean, obviously he'll okay. like go back and for like his reviews, he'll go back and like listen to them again and, really take mm-hmm. it in but um yeah I, I kind of wanted to do something like that, that really and something like a cross between that and like a kind of radio show and just kind of bring more people together really that, that, that's awesome because I, I think mustard has been in there in the past the last time they were in there when you were doing it i think you were listening to earth apple from lena or lana ko was that, um, did you end up listening to that one and no we we haven't done a dedicated um, listening party for that one, but that is on my um, internet in 2023 playlist, which is one I always okay. like put on. It, it's usually my default playlist mm-hmm. on on stream. So um, like usually like in between or before or after, I'll, I'll stick that on as a bit of uh, mm-hmm. ambiance. Okay, yeah, that, that, that's cool. Yeah, I think. You had mustard yeah. soul track on the twenty twenty two one, which that they appreciate for that. Which yeah, they appreciate. yeah. <laughs> yeah, you need need some more bangers this year, and I'll put them straight in the playlist. <laughs> yes, we'll we'll see if mustard ends up coming up with anything. Um, so yeah, we've talked about you know your new single, which is out now. Um, you took my song. Um, it, it is on all streaming platforms, right? Yeah, as far as I'm aware, it's uh, most places. I imagine. Um, yeah, most Any, anywhere you anywhere you listen, really. It'll be on. Yeah, it'll probably cool. be on Bandcamp as well. I just need to uh, upload it and stuff. Um, I mean, it, yeah. speaking of Bandcamp Friday, I think that might be February third, which February. I could be oh, okay. wrong about. Yeah, I could be wrong. Sometime if that is, then yeah, I may upload it then, which will be a week early, just for that. Um, oh, that sweet, cool. sweet Bandcamp money. That would be cool. Yeah, no, Bandcamp Friday is great. Yeah, it's it's the because you know the, the the streams are great in terms of like recognition, but in terms of like monetary value, you, mm. I feel like artists get the most from Bandcamp Fridays or Bandcamp in general. But I I could be wrong. I could be wrong with how all that process works. Yeah, no, I think I think so. You definitely, you know, if you. Yeah, if you sell stuff on Bandcamp that, you know, you definitely get a lot more uh, than you would uh, <laughs> however many streams mm-hmm. that is. You- yeah, I don't know how it all works out, but um, yeah. yeah, Bandcamp can definitely be more uh, lucrative, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. So now that your single's out, is it what, what else do you have um, on, on your plan um, for, the, for the future? There's, there's a lot of stuff I want to do. It's just kind of as and when. I do it really. Um, the best place to kind of keep updated with all of that is my uh, Discord. I'm always like posting, like that's where you always get the most like recent real time updates. Even when I have like mm-hmm. a passing thought, I'm like, oh, I might do like a an, an album where I do this or something, and then I never <laughs> like think about it again. Um, yeah. So that's where I kind of type out all my like updates and all my like plans for music that I may or may not do. So. Um, yeah um i do have another ep kind of swimming around yeah, yeah, yeah. in my mind um that might come out over summer um i have a few songs that could be uh fun to do that um and then yeah it's, it's mainly just kind of um putting away music really just right because i'm <laughs> i'm always kind of a bit down to the wire like okay i want to do this and then i do mm-hmm. it and then i release it i don't have a lot necessarily like stashed away um so yeah it's just about kind of getting that um getting that music uh recorded and ready but with this new you know with this new ep i'm sure it would just be more of the same but i'm thinking potentially uh with that one 
like releasing a single like every four weeks or something. I know that's like the whole kind of um, that's what they say. That's what they tell you to do. But I'm thinking, you know, I might try it out, see how it goes and do like the whole waterfall release thing where it's like, you know, you release a single and then the next one you have the previous one attached to it. Oh, and, okay. okay. Um, yeah, yeah. See how that all goes. Um, so yeah, it's just, just more, more music. Really. I'd love to do a music video for, um, for you took my song or just oh, for any song cool. really. Um, that's a big, that's a big plan for, um, for this year. Um, I'd love to do more live shows as well. Um, that's kind of, again, I'm, I'm practicing for that. That's in the works, I suppose. Oh, awesome. I just kind of need to see what's going on around here really. Um, and then, yeah, just, just all sorts, really, uh, just always, always thinking and, and scheming. <laughs> yeah. And then you, yeah, you've done your YouTube channel has a lot of your videos and you like your short films that you've done. Mm. Um, that would be cool. A music video for, uh, you took my song or back inside or yeah. sea gas. Any of that would be pretty cool. Yeah. Cause I, I have like, I've always thought like each of those songs I did think about music I did um, video ideas for, and they do kind of, uh, again, swim around, but it's just kind of like, mm -hmm. you know, the, the filmmaker in me kind of, you know, you think of what you want and then it's like, okay, well, I need to find a location like that. And I need to <laughs> buy all these things, yeah, yeah. um, and pay for whoever. Um, mm -hmm. so yeah, that, that would be fun to do. Cause there's, uh, there's so many people who do really great music videos, like, um, like Kate Brunotz, um, she did oh, yeah, like yeah. this amazing, like short film. Um, and I think she is, um, making another music video now. Um, and Maya Yen oh, cool. as well. They, re um, they recently came out with a video, um, uh, for better luck next time. And oh, their okay. previous one, I think, um, their music video before that, I think won a bunch of like awards and stuff at film festivals and stuff. So it's oh, like, nice. it, it's really inspiring. Like I, I really want to kind of, uh, just have something just like, well, I don't know what the word is, but just, just a real, like, um, accomplishment, a real, uh, yeah, just, just a, a, a nice big project like that. Um, a, a real, a real nice piece of work. I don't know what the word. It, it's half past midnight. I can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, no, I don't. I don't blame you. Yeah, I think I know what word yeah. you're trying to think of, but I, it's on um, yeah. my tongue too. <laughs> uh, we we appreciate Mustard yeah. and I appreciate you yeah. saying. Yeah, so I late suppose to do this a, too. a body. Yeah, a, a body of work, <laughs> but singular. A, a work. Yeah. An arm. An arm of work. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, Mustard and I were looking forward um to what what you have uh in the future whether you know whatever it may be you know we're excited for the ep that's swimming around and you know your other mm. projects and your live shows that you know you, you're working on and everything um do you have any final words about you took my song or anything um yeah i guess you know if you're into the beatles if you like the beach boys any of that kind of uh 1960s uh kind of uh, rock music, a bit of psychedelia, kind of, you know, bits of jazz, bits of, uh, um, like music hall, like vaudevillian mm -hmm. type elements. Uh, there's all sorts in there. It's a cosmic gumbo of, uh, <laughs> of, of genres. And, um, <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's a wild ride. It's, uh, I was kind of thinking about this the other day, um, how like, there's kind of like five sections in a row that like don't repeat before you get the next, <laughs> before you get a That's section true. that like repeats. That's true. Um, so yeah, it's fun. There, there's a guitar solo in there. There's all sorts of, um, wacky, silly, goofy things in there. Yeah. It's really fun. Like it's a very, it, it's kind of similar to back inside in that it's a very like matter of fact, like da 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 kind of song mm -hmm. um but then it's got all these like kind of fantastical elements um over it and yeah it just sounds really really fun and epic and there's it, it goes places and i'm super happy with it and i'm really excited with it and we'll see what happens i guess definitely everybody who's watching this go ahead and stream it right now you know pause this if you have to go listen to it wherever you listen to music mm -hmm. Um, cause you know, your ears will appreciate it as Mustard likes to say, your human ears will appreciate it. So 
Okay. And then but yeah, go ahead and do that. And we just want to thank you again for joining us, especially at Minette at your hour. Um, you know, really <laughs> do appreciate it. And, you know, thanks again for being here. Yeah, no, it's all good. Thanks for having me. I, I would have just been on TikTok or YouTube or something <laughs> anyway. So, uh, yeah. and I'm probably off to go do that now. But uh, yeah, really appreciate <laughs> uh, you and, and Mustard for, uh, for doing this. Of course, it's, it's our pleasure. Thanks for joining us. Uh, thanks for um, overcoming Mustard's, I guess, awkwardness a little bit with, with this whole YouTube <laughs> thing, but we really do appreciate it. Ah, you're we've, always good. Been, we've always been a big supporter and we're looking forward to uh, You Took My Song, which is already out, and everything else that you have in the future. So thank you again for joining Music Show. Yeah, thank you very much. Tio All right. Have a good night. <laughs> you too. North Star. <laughs>